Good morning. Today we'll be unboxing the Evoron 0.1 kit from LDO Motors. The kit was purchased from Fabrico along with the Kirigami bed mod. I purchased the Linneo umbilical and wiring harness from KB3D. I had a spare display from my V2.4 build and have not decided if it will be used on this printer yet or not. Uh, the parts were all printed from Polymaker Polylite ASA in natural and black. Let's start with the umbilical mod and wiring harness. So this is the umbilical mod. It comes with the PCB along with the motor mounted PCB. And then this is the Linneo wiring harness. They always send them in nice boxes so you can get everything you need. And this also has the PCB to PCB cable so that you don't have to worry about wiring it up. An LED cable. All your cables that go from the board to the uh, umbilical board. JST connectors, some zip tie holders, and a bunch of zip ties along with a Linneo sticker and some Velcro straps. Should make it a lot easier to wire up the printer. And I used their wiring harness for my 2.4, so that was a very good experience using it. Rico has taped it back up. They put the Kirigami mod in here, I'm sure. And as expected, there's the Kirigami bed mod. Right there. Did order the black. I've got the blue frame, but the black printed parts. So there is the bed mod. Of course, we have the Big Tree Tech uh, SKR board the v3 it does have a no name 128 gigabytes micro sd card I've already got a Pi Zero 2W with uh, mainsail and clipper installed. All I've got to do is flash the firmware on this. Power cord. Uh, got plenty of them, but can always use another. Looks like the bomb along with some uh, basic instructions for the kit. The uh, Thetis Dragonfly hot end. I'll be using it even though I have a Voron Edition Dragon standard flow that I could put in there as well. Got your 24 volt power supply. Nice little Meanwell unit. The LRS 150 24.
linear rail kit, all the MGN7s needed, and then their nut traps to go in behind them to make it a lot simpler to uh, bolt everything down. Our tool head and motion kit. Set screws with pre-applied Loctite, Bontech gears, M330 and 35s, your pulleys, your Bontech tensioner, some more set screws, all your little bearings, two of the tiny little bearings for the hot end. PTFE tube and your belts. Got your cable channels, uh, running all your cables nice and neatly and keeping it clean. Fasteners, tools, and miscellaneous. So we've got our soldering tip for the heat sets along with an assortment of Allen keys and a two millimeter drill bit. The little rubber feet. VHB tape. Magnets. And then your assorted screws, heat sets, uh, and nuts that you'll need to build. Build plate and parts. There's your uh, drag chain, your springs, and your knurled nuts. I did not print out the printable ones, knowing that the LDO came with those. And your tiny little build plate. Heater's already applied with the silicone around it. Inline fuse, it's got a little JST there so you can connect it up. I will have to put the magnet on to the build plate, to the heater plate. Uh, and then it has two separate build plates. One textured on both sides and one smooth on both sides. Just for comparison, there's my 2.4 350 plate. Uh, you can see quite a bit larger. And then this is my Prusa Mark III plate. Still, again, four times the size. Uh, so this will give me definitely some choices when I go to print. this back up and we'll move on to the next box our electronics and wiring box has the cable kit that is supplied by LDO PTFE tube for your uh, reverse Bowden, a bunch of zip ties, your fans, looks like your heater for the uh, hot end, the power supply or buck converter for the Raspberry Pi. Print a Steppy uh, kit, power inlet pre-wired with extra fuses, and then a Kingston branded 16 gigabyte 
uh, micro SD. That'll go into the Pi, or I guess it was supposed to, but I've already flashed the Pi. It's already up and running, keeping it up to date. All right, LDO motor kit for the V0.1. Got your uh, nut there, JSTs to wire up your motors, your tiny little extruder motor, your Z with integrated lead screw, and your A and B motors. The NI Backlash, uh, we'll see how it goes. All your panels for the uh, printer. And then the last box being the frame kit. Breaks home how tiny this thing is. Along with that bed, everything is just so tiny. And I did get the blue frame. Lighting's not the best in here, but that's a nice blue. I was really hoping to see it. And going with this black and kind of off-white color scheme. That natural's not, it's more of a cream color than a white. Let's get these all unwrapped. Do not know if I'll be starting this tonight or if I will be starting next weekend. And I have been debating on whether to do a stream or build it here and there and just upload the progress as I go. I think it's just the lighting, but these look a little different color on a few of them. probably wrong but it seems like there's more extrusions for this than there were for the 2.4 Okay, there it is. That's the uh, entirety of the V0.1 uh, kit from LDO Motors along with all my printed parts over on the right side. 